When you're a celebrity, you really can't trust anyone. And even though you might think some secrets will always stay safe between friends, that's not always the case. And that's why I'm sure it can be incredibly hard to trust anyone when you're a celebrity. But today we are specifically going to be talking about former friends and which celebs got exposed by one. Hey, what's up everyone? Today on IO, we are going to be filling you in on the top 10 celebrities exposed by former friends. I'm Mackenzie Smith. And I'm Brie Room, and let's get into it. Starting off at number 10, we have Drake Bell and Josh Peck. This one was the scandal that ruined childhoods and tons of hearts were broken when people realized that Drake and Josh might not actually be friends in real life. But the situation between them was so bad that Drake Bell didn't even realize that his friendship with Josh Peck was on the rocks. The feud ignited in 2017 when Josh Peck posted tons of photos online of his wedding to Paige O'Brien and Bell responded on Twitter, making it pretty clear that he was salty for not getting an invite. In tons of deleted videos, Bell wrote, When you're not invited to the wedding, the message is clear. And true colors have come out today. And message is loud and clear. Ties officially cut. I'll miss you, brother. And loyalty is key. Always remember where you came from. So yikes, it's pretty damn clear who he was talking about with all those tweets. But then later on when asked about it, Josh Peck said that he was really hurt by the tweets, but that he was shocked because apparently Drake didn't even text Josh back to congratulate him on his engagement. So clearly both sides were a little shady here. Number nine, Amber Heard and Kate James. Amber Heard's former friend and assistant Kate James exposed her for her abusive tendencies. During the libel case between Johnny Depp and The Sun publication, we saw testimonies from several people who were close to the couple, but none came close to that of Amber's ex-assistant, Kate James. Kate went on record and said that she was mentally and verbally abused by Amber during the time that she worked with her between 2012 and 2015. She also went on to disclose how the beginning of Amber and Johnny's relationship went, saying that Amber would, quote, speak in disparaging terms about him and would say things like she was, quote, dating this old man. Kate also went on to expose how Amber would copy Johnny's lifestyle. She commented on the fact that upon beginning their relationship, Amber would start behaving weirdly in comparison to her true personality. She also went on to say that Amber, quote, went through an odd change that almost morphed her into a different version of death. Kate really exposed Amber for who she was behind the scenes, being that she spent so much time together. She didn't hold back, especially after being betrayed by her when Amber retold a traumatic story from Kate's life and pawned it off as if it was her own. And at number 8, Jay-Z and Kanye West. This falling out was not only very messy, but it was very public. And there was so much to it that Channel 4 actually made a whole documentary about it. The two were friends for years until Kim Kardashian's Paris robbery, and Kanye felt that Jay-Z abandoned him after the incident. The feud was brought to light while Kanye was on stage at one of his shows, saying over the mic, don't call me after the robbery and say how you feeling, you wanna know how I'm feeling, come by the house, bring the kids by the house, like we're brothers, let's sit down. With the audience knowing that he was talking about Jay-Z. As a clap back to that call out, Jay-Z addressed it on his last album, sang in a song, I know people backstab you, I feel bad too, but this F everybody attitude ain't natural, but you ain't the same. This ain't kumbaya, F wrong with everybody, is what you saying, but if everybody's crazy, you're the one that's insane. So clearly these two don't look like they're going to be reconciling anytime soon. Also guys, if you're liking the video so far, make sure to give it a big like below, that really helps us out. I'm number 7, the Kardashians and Larsa Pippen. Though Larsa Pippen and the Kardashians, especially Kim, were really close, it seems like their relationship is very different now. Some fans have noticed that the Kardashian clan had unfollowed Larsa on social media, and Larsa did the same in return, and some are wondering why this is. Well, Larsa dished about the situation during an interview on the Hollywood Raw podcast. She spoke out saying that she and Kim have a very different relationship now and exposed some of the family's drama she's been a part of. Larsa said that Kanye has been a huge part of why she and Kim are no longer friends, saying that he brainwashed the family into turning against her after she tried establishing boundaries in their relationship. She also exposed Khloe Kardashian for allegedly stealing Tristan away from her, saying that she was quote, kind of seeing Tristan before Khloe, and that she had introduced him to the Kardashian family, and about a week later, Khloe and Tristan were together. For now, the Kardashians have separated themselves from Larsa, and it's probably gonna stay that way because you know how the Kardashians hold grudges. In at number 6, Gwyneth Paltrow and Winona Ryder. These two were once really good friends, and they were seen out tons of times and even lived together at one point. But everything ended because of one man named William. Apparently, both of the ladies auditioned for the lead role in Shakespeare in Love, but Paltrow ended up snagging the role, and then even went on to win Best Actress at the Oscars for the role. So clearly, a real gut punch. 
Then years later when Winona was going through some rough times and she was busted for shoplifting, Gwyneth took a dig at her, writing in a newsletter, Back in the day, I had a friend of me who was pretty hell-bent on taking me down. I restrained myself from fighting back. I tried to take the high road. But one day, I heard that something unfortunate and humiliating had happened to this person. My reaction was deep relief and happiness. So yikes, clearly these two just straight up hate each other. At number five, Taylor Swift and Kim K. So back in 2016, there was some beef between Taylor Swift and Kim Ye. Basically, Taylor said that she was really upset about some lyrics that Kanye had included in one of the songs he had released at that time. She told fans that she had never heard those lyrics and that she never approved of them, but Kim sensed something a little fishy about Taylor. The singer and the Kardashian West had only just reconciled after their whole VMA debacle, but it seems like their friendship wasn't built to last since Kim decided to expose Taylor for lying about the lyrics. Kim shared a video that she secretly recorded of Kanye on the phone with Taylor, sharing lyrics to his song, and when he involved her name in them, she said that it was a compliment and that she approved, even calling him a friend for sharing. Kim doesn't always get involved in Kanye's drama, but what she has receipts, you know she's gonna share them. On top of that, Taylor obviously had to make a song about their friendship breakup and dished about the situation, so I guess in a way, they both betrayed each other. In at number four, Heidi Montag and Lauren Conrad. Heidi and Lauren were reality TV royalty back in the early 2000s when they starred in the hit show The Hills. But in 2007, the friendship ended when Heidi Montag and her boyfriend Spencer spread a rumor that Conrad made an explicit tape with her boyfriend Jason. After the rumor was spreading like wildfire, Conrad commented on her website, writing, We didn't make a tape. Jason and I are both shocked and hurt that people would say such horrible things about us. I can't believe that somebody would go to such great lengths to try and damage my reputation. The situation got worse when Conrad still had to shoot season 3 of The Hills, and that season is when the fight came to a head, and there was an epic on-camera fight. And even to this day, the fight is a sore spot for everyone involved. At number 3, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie were the best of friends at one point, practically inseparable, but things changed when Nicole decided to allegedly expose Paris and play her adult film at one of her parties. Their friendship pretty much crashed and burned at that point, leaving the two of them at odds. While this incident was only speculation and rumors, and it was never confirmed by either party, this betrayal seems to be the reigning theory as to what happened between them and why they had such a big falling out. The only time Paris really spoke out about her breakup with her bestie was during an interview where she said, quote, It's no big secret that Nicole and I are no longer friends. Nicole knows what she did, and that's all I'm ever going to say about it. End quote. And number two, Kim Cattrall and Sarah Jessica Parker. When Sex in the City was in its heyday, everyone just pretty much assumed that the leading ladies were all best friends, but we found out later that that definitely was not the case. After the third movie was taken off the table because of Cottrell's refusal to do the film is when the truth of the matter started to show. But the feud came to a head after Cottrell's brother passed away and Sarah Jessica Parker wrote a message of condolence to her former colleague on social media. But Cottrell was not having it and clapped back to the message by writing, your continuous reaching out is a painful reminder of how cruel you really were then and now. Let me make this very clear, you are not my friend. So I'm writing to tell you one last time to stop exploiting our tragedy in order to restore your nice girl persona. Which makes it clear that there was a lot of built up tension between them. Cottrell has addressed the fight numerous times, saying that the mean girl culture of the show is what actually destroyed it. Finally at number one, James Charles and Tati Westbrook. James and Tati's falling out is probably one of the best examples of someone being exposed by their friend. This whole bi-sister scandal saw their relationship torn apart in a matter of one video. James and Tati famously had a relationship dating all the way back to the beginning of James's career, but Tati suddenly decided to cut ties with him after he posted at Coachella endorsing Sugar Bear Hair, the competitor to Tati's vitamin company. She exposed him for his endorsement and she could have stopped there, but she decided to also expose him for his alleged misconduct with other people, specifically straight men. She claimed that James was trying to quote, manipulate someone's sexuality, and she referenced a specific incident that went down in 2019 at her birthday party. Though James thought of Tati as some kind of parental figure, she still decided to publicly cut ties with James, thus beginning the whole drama get in fiasco. Alright guys, that is all for the list. Let us know what you're thinking down below. What do you think was the craziest? Was there any that we missed? Let us know. But before we head out, we're going to shout out some comments. So it's Doofin says, now I get it because I was always confused why people behave in a certain way, cough, my ex friends cough, since they're literally obsessed with mean girls and gossip girl. Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to be influenced by those kinds of shows. Yeah, that makes a toxic friend. <laughs> For sure. Sue Q says, I thought they were called the plastics because they were fake. I mean, 
That too. Yeah, that too, definitely. Then Al Exceptional says, where's Rachel and Santana from Glee? A few so bad it transferred to real life. Very valid that it transferred to real life. Yeah, I didn't I didn't watch the so much show. I don't personally know about that, but I heard it was bad. Yeah, honestly, we could have made an entire video full of Glee because it was so messy. <laughs> yeah, Glee was extremely messy. I need to watch that one day. I don't know why I haven't. And Mezco says, pretty happy I've never seen any of these shows. These sound addicting, but they sound depressing. I don't know. I don't I think it's like worth it. I don't know. Like it's definitely not all bad. A lot of the show is just like entertaining messiness, but it's not like dark. Like, I don't think I got down by a lot of it, you know? I don't know. I mean, there's some moments that are like really serious or like other backstabs that are like, oh my god, you went too far. But other than that, like, it's pretty entertaining and pretty juicy. Yeah. Then Alex O says, Mackenzie Heathers is a musical too. Watch it on YouTube, it's amazing. Oh, I should definitely check that out. I definitely love musicals. I mean, who doesn't? All right, everyone, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. And if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see a little bit more of us. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. And I've been Reroom. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.